The truth is, working smarter, not harder, is an absolute necessity in today's world. We are all searching for that elusive workflow improvement, that optimization we can make. But it isn't easy. A lot of us have tried, and not a lot of us succeed, but some do. And I can tell you that the reason that those do is because of technology. So the thing is, we're not alone. Three hours of our days are productive. That means there's 60% of the time that we could be doing much more efficient things in. But what if I told you there was a better way? A way that you could harness tools and techniques to gain the time back in your day and to do more with it. Well, that's the focus of this video. We're gonna go through three tools and one technique that you can use to gain that time back. So let's get into those things right now and start claiming back that time and getting super productive. Writing and rewriting your to-do lists. Yep, me too, I do it all the time. In fact, there are 50 days a year wasted on repetitive tasks. That's a big chunk of our time. And I've got to say, to-do list is one of the biggest impact areas for me. I'm always rewriting my paper notes until that was that I decided to move myself into either a digitized note-taking process and then I added this tool to my repertoire and that tool is Trello. Trello is the ultimate setup for me when it comes to tracking the projects that I'm working on. It's a Kanban board so if you've not heard of that Kanban is essentially a um, multi-column board structure where you move things that are pipelines to be done into things that are nearly getting done, things that are getting done, and then complete. And I use that setup to start tracking the jobs. I can go into each, I can add deadlines, I can add columns. I'm no longer wasting time writing and rewriting my to-do list, and I'm much clearer about the jobs to be done. But a little trick that I add to this, and I learned this from an old boss of mine, thank you, Mike. The trick that I learned is to always have a floating box that talks about your big three things. What are the big three things that you want to achieve this year? And I keep those in a completely separate column because those are the things that if I don't get to anything else and I'm working on that, that is gonna have the biggest impact to my business and also for me professionally um, and, and for my own growth. So I keep that completely locked away and ever present as I roll through my to-do list. That's a really nice technique that I honestly has allowed me to refocus and reprioritize um, along, along the way. So bring that into your own, in, into your own world. Seriously, take advantage of all of the productivity capabilities on your smartphone. There is a feature, particularly on the iPhone that I know best, of focus mode. And that allows me to set specific apps that do not go off and buzz at me when that is set. So I set focus mode for key times of the day when I don't want any distractions, when I don't want to receive a message, I don't want it, you know, any of my social platform telling me that there's a new video out. Although, you know, please like and subscribe for this one and get those notifications, that'd be great, really help me. Um, these apps are game changing for allowing you to stay in your flow. So I encourage you to start activating that and setting it specifically for different times of the day to turn on. You can add a more calming background, you can add specific apps that you will still hear. So if you need to be ready for that call for from your parents, from your partner, from daycare, whatever it is, these are the applications that will help you manage that and filter in the things that you definitely want to avoid and the things you definitely want to see. It wouldn't be a future simplified video if I didn't mention some sort of AI assistant. Now, a lot of us take a long time to get started on a specific idea or to get started on that email that you need to send. As long as you're always using your own mind, your own words and your own brain, these platforms and tools can start adding a lot of speed into things that would otherwise take you some time. You know, worrying about spell checking, worrying about the structure of sentences. Like, yes, you absolutely need to do that and retain those techniques. But when you are in a hurry and when you are under a lot of crunch, these platforms and tools such as Gemini, Meta or ChatGPT can help you just refine that content. Now you've always got to remember to make sure that there is no sensitive information ever used in these platforms. They are for you, but your business does not want its information in these tools. But as long as you're keeping all that sensitive information out and you don't just rip off what's been said back into an email, as long as you use it in the right way, you're gonna find a productivity gain that you wouldn't have got otherwise. I can't 
help you create more time. But what I can do is allow you to condense things into more efficient amounts of time. So there's a technique called batching, which is where you take common tasks such as reading emails and pull those into a specific time window in your calendar. So instead of spending all day sporadically checking through emails, you're assigning specific time that this is the moment that I check through emails. This is the time that I do deep work and this is the time that I read the industry news, topics or study. Now, by batching in this manner, you tell yourself that this time is important. It's in your calendar. It is an immovable piece in your calendar that is integral to how you do work. And framed in that way and locked down in that way, unfortunately, we're all slaves to our calendar. Our colleagues are unlikely to go over the top of it and put a meeting in instead when you should be doing that. So batching is a technique that you can just start doing yourself, manually assigning repeatable times and windows. So for example, um, on Monday morning, I have a time block set out for industry news. In that window, I am reading industry news and making sure that I'm informed for the rest of the week. I have a time for checking my emails throughout the day and a time for reviewing my to-do list and updating it. And just by blocking in that time, you'll be so surprised how much more you can get done and how effectively and dedicated and focused you are on that task. Now, better yet, there's actually a tool version of this. There's an application and a piece of technology that I've taken advantage of called Viva Insights. Now, I use Viva to then set aside specific focus times and to block out moments in my calendar well in advance. So it goes in and it blocks out chunks of time specifically for deep work, for thinking, for reviewing emails, and lunch breaks, it was important to take a lunch break, and it does that automatically. This is stuff that is truly valuable for my organization and for me as a professional, because I'm able to work on more important, complex problems that require a high level of thought. And it wouldn't be possible if it wasn't for these techniques and tools. So to put into perspective, doing this, I've managed to save 40% of time on the tasks that were interrupting me, that were taking up time, to allow me to focus on the far more important topics and things that I need to do for work that is genuine value for my business, for my clients, and obviously for myself as a, as a professional. This higher order of thinking and unlocking that time to do that is not done by magic. There's just a few, just a few tools and techniques. We've taken you through a number of those, so please let me know how you're implementing these things into your day to day. Or if there's anything, as I say, that you're finding useful yourself that I haven't considered here. I'd love to know that. Now, if you liked what you heard today, please consider dropping us a like and subscribe. We'd love to see you next time because we've got lots more content on this. We have a content series currently on your top apps for productivity. That's just linked up there and also linked here is the content topic of simplifying your life. Wouldn't you just love to use applications just to simplify and quiet your life? Well, if you do, there's a video right there. And for everything else, we'll see you next time on Future Simplified. Thanks for watching.